Members, members, members. I don't know why I just said that. <laughs> I guess I'm showing much love to the members. I, I did not mean to say that. I meant to say, <laughs> this is your give me the tea reading. But special shout out to all my members of the channel. I guess the universe wanted me to mention the members and show y'all special love. Those are the people that you see with the little stars next to their name. They are a part of my membership family. And if you guys aren't aware, check it out. You can click the join button below. If you don't see the join button, there's a link in the description box. And if you're a member, you get access to bonus readings. All right. If you feel like my readings resonate, definitely become a member. And yeah, shout out to all my members. I love you guys. Okay. So, um, this is going to be, be your, give me the tea reading. I don't know why I can't talk today. Yeah, give me the T reading for January 29th of 2023. I want to say a happy, happy, happy birthday to all of my Aquarians. You guys have a reading coming later today. I've been seeing your comments. I know you guys have been really, really wanting a reading. So, um, yeah, it's Aquarius season. So you guys will have your reading after I do this. Give me the T. All right. How, how is everybody doing? I hope you guys had a great weekend. I hope all is well with you, your loved ones, and your pets. And um, no, I'm always praying for you guys. I'm always sending you positive energy, healing energy, abundant type of energy. And no, I love you guys. We are a family on here, right? And I'm thankful for every single one of you. All right, so we're going to be doing a Give Me the Tea. This is just like a collective reading. I pick up on the juicy details of all of you guys love life and then sometimes it gets a little bit general as well but um let's see what we got for you okay so let's see and of course shout out to my patreon members as well i have a patreon page my patreon page is all about astrology so if you're interested in astrology you should definitely check out my patreon page there's a seven day free trial you can try it out for free see how you like it and if you like it, hopefully you stay. But if not, then you know you tried it out. All right. So let's see. I was just eating some olives. I'm getting low on my olives. My jalapeno and garlic olives. They're so good. And I'm out of pickles. So I got to go. I got to do a grocery store run tomorrow, y'all. I don't play with my pickles and my olives. You know what I'm saying? But it's funny, my olives, I got to get them from the wine store, Total Wine and More, because they got the best olives there. Did you know that? They got the best olives at the liquor store. So I got to go to the, not the liquor liquor store, the Total Wine and More. So I got to go there and then I got to get my pickles. My pickles I can get from the grocery store. So let's see, what is the tea? Thank you, angels. Thank you, spirit guys. Thank you, ancestors. Y'all know I love talking to y'all. What is the tea? Give me the tea on the collective here. Ghosting popped out. Uh-uh. Who you ghosted? Well, some of y'all, somebody could have ghosted you. Mm-hmm. Let's see. What's the T here? Oh, my goodness. Something about ghosting. Somebody either disappeared on you or you disappeared on them. You did a damn Casper the Friendly Ghost. False promises. Mm-mm. Somebody's name could be Fatima. Who y'all dealing with here? People giving you false promises. Making you false promises. Crush popped out. So somebody crushing on you. I got a crush on you. Fear of commitment. Some of y'all dealing with somebody who got a fear of commitment. Be careful of somebody giving you false promises. They telling you what you want to hear, promising shit, and don't come through. That's the worst. I can't stand somebody who do something like that because I'm a person of my word. You know what I mean? So I like to. I like people who, you know, are about their word too. Trash. Some of y'all dealing with somebody who's straight up trash. You need to bag them up in a damn hefty bag and throw them out meet up some of y'all meeting up with somebody you could be meeting up with somebody for the first time somebody's asian thirsty ah some of y'all got somebody thirsty on you ah uh -uh. this person could be <laughs> person could be blowing your phone up or just coming off a little bit too strong and i don't know i'm gonna say for some of y'all you acting a little bit thirsty I don't know who that's for. If it's not for you, don't take it. But some of y'all, you you might be acting a little bit too thirsty. What does that mean? That means you're drinking a little bit too much. You're on somebody's dick and balls. You're hanging from the, you're dangling from the clitoris. You know what I mean? Liking photos. Who been liking your photos? 
On the bottom, you got forced relationship. Oh, my God. This tea is hot. Somebody's name could be Ethan. So, again, I'm going to say it. It's not for all of you. Some of you, you could have somebody that's thirsting over you and acting real thirsty in regards to you. But if that's not your story, then some of y'all, you too thirsty. You could be too, you know what I mean, hitting people up too much. You know what I mean? Calling somebody too much, texting somebody too much, liking their photos too much. You know what I mean? Um, too thirsty. Make them want you. You know what I mean? Let them come to you. It takes two. It's 50-50. You shouldn't be doing 90%. Okay? So I don't know who that's for. And again, don't get mad at me. Don't curse me out in the comments if that's not you. Because I can already hear people now, well, I'm not thirsty. I'm not that. Good for you. I ain't talking to you. But it's somebody here that, that has messages for. And others of you, you could be dealing with somebody who too thirsty. This person hanging from your dick and balls. And that shit is a turn off. Give me some space because you got forced relationship on the bottom of the deck. So some of y'all, somebody's trying to either force you into a relationship or I don't know if you trying to force somebody into one. But that don't never work. All right. And then some of y'all, you dealing with somebody who got a fear of commitment. This person commitment scared the shit out of them. You know what I mean? Getting serious. And some of y'all, you dealing with somebody who is straight up trash. Like I said, you need to bag them up, put them in a hefty bag, and throw them out. Like my, my boy said, grandpa and problem child. He said, drop that boy to the side of the road and go. <laughs> That's what you need to do with this person. Hey, mama. Let me see this ghosting card. Somebody been liking your photos, and this person is interested in you. You might be taking it lightly, but they into you. What's the ghosting card? What is that about? It's going to be a good give me the tea, baby. The Emperor, Aries, Hermit in Reverse, and the Page of Pentacles. <sighs> this could be an Aries or a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Yes, yeah, something happened here. I feel like if somebody ghosted you, you're going to hear from them. They're going to come out of hermit mode. So I don't know who this is for. This could be somebody you were talking to and then all of a sudden they just went quiet. Or I don't know if y'all were supposed to make plans. I do see them reaching out if that is your story. And if you're the one that ghosted them, I see them reaching out. Again, like even if you ghosted them, I don't know. I don't know what that emperor is about. Somebody's, somebody like being in control. What's the um, false promises? Who is this person making you false promises? The devil. You see what I'm saying, man? Could be a Capricorn. You gotta stay away from this person, man. This person toxic. This person, they do this shit all the time with the three of wands. Some of y'all, somebody stood you up. I just heard with this three of wands. You could have been waiting. Y'all could have had plans. They could have told you, oh, baby, we gonna do this. We gonna do that person never came through that's the worst feeling ever that is the worst feeling ever this person could be an Aquarius Libra Gemini or they could be a Capricorn with the devil coming out some of y'all this person got addictions they just very toxic they they the way they go about shit they could be an awful communicator with the king of swords in reverse but I also feel like this person is a liar the king of swords in reverse is somebody who just say whatever they want to say you know what I mean and they words don't have no value you can't fuck with nobody like that Mm. Somebody's name could be uh, Sharon. I don't know why I just heard Senorita. So somebody could be Hispanic. Maybe the person is Hispanic. Somebody's name could be Daniel, Zania. What's the crush card? Who crushing on you? The Ten of Pentacles. Oh, shit. Somebody that <laughs> they could see themselves with you for a long time settling down. They're not just crushing on you. They want to marry you. Two of Wands in reverse. Seven of Cups in reverse. This person, somebody is crushing on you and they only focused on you. Somebody's name could be Angel because the Angel song is playing right now. That's my girl right there, Anita Baker. Ten of Pentacles. This person crushing on you see long term with you. Y'all getting married, having kids, making money together, building a life together. 
And the seven of cups in reverse means they're not talking to nobody else and they don't want nobody else. They just want you. Some of y'all could be born on the 10th, the 9th, the 4th. Somebody's name could be Eddie or Edward or something like that. But with the two of wands in reverse, I don't know if this person just don't know how to plan shit with you. They don't know how to come forward. It's something weird. Who is this person that got a fear commitment? What's their fucking problem? Somebody's name could be Freddie. Make sure you guys hit the like button if this is uh, resonating, okay? And don't forget to comment, subscribe, and share. The Magician. This could be a Gemini. The Seven of Swords. You see what I'm saying? And the Two of Wands in reverse again. So some of y'all, this person that has a fear of commitment, it could be they have a fear of being cheated on. That's why they have a fear of commitment. They got a fear of something about the color yellow, too. I don't know if somebody wearing the color yellow or they was wearing yellow when you met them or something like that. But... I just heard Anthony too. This person, but the magician is here, which is crazy. So I feel like even though this person has a fear of commitment, I still see them fucking with you hard body. What does that mean? That means that they are still showing a big interest in you, still making things happen between you and them, still putting in work with you, but they have a fear of commitment. I really feel like this person has trust issues with the seven of swords. That's why they have a fear of commitment. This person don't want to be out here getting, you know what I mean? Looking stupid, getting cheated on, or maybe maybe they was cheated on in the past. They got trust issues. You know, everybody that got a fear of commitment isn't because they are, they are a whole, they a player or a playette. Some people just don't like commitment because they feel like, you know, people can't be trusted. Who is this trash ass person that you need to throw in a hefty bag? Oh, look what popped out. The Knight of Wands in reverse and the Eight of Wands in reverse popped out so quick. Could be a fire sign for some of you at Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now, this is a hoe right here. This is a player right here, play yet. This person in the universe is saying, block them and throw away the key. Hey, girlfriend. Hey. You need to block them and throw away the key, whoever this is. This person is a straight up hoe. I don't know why I'm hearing STD. Three of Pentacles in reverse. They have no intention on building nothing with you. Hello? Don't look at me like that. They have no intention on building anything with you. They could have a third party or fourth or fifth or sixth. I just heard Samantha. Y'all, Some of y'all could be born on the eighth. Don't look at me like that. I see you looking at me like that. And this person, mm -mm, the universe says stop talking to them. Block them. Some of y'all, this person ha could have an STD or there's a high potential that they will give you one in the future. I just heard HPV. You got to stay away from this person. I don't know who this is for, but this is your warning if you needed confirmation. Those popped right out. Hello? What's up with the person you meeting up with? Somebody could have a Burmese mountain dog. Four of Cups, the world, and a Knight of Swords. Could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. What's the Four of Cups? Some of y'all meeting up with somebody you met online. I don't know. I don't feel like you crazy about this person, though. I feel like you need to give this person a chance. Some of y'all, this person might not be your usual type or something like that. Maybe it's somebody trying to meet up with you that you met online and I see you being like, uh, but I feel like, I don't know. I feel like this person got potential. Some of y'all too focused on the physical and I'm not saying you go with somebody who's ugly, but some of y'all, you too, too, too focused on physical appearance. And where has that got you? Mm, I'm going to call it how I see it. What's up with this thirsty ass person here with the thirsty card? Thirst. The lovers in reverse. Mm. The three of swords in reverse and the ten of cups in reverse. You see what I'm saying? All right. So if this is somebody else thirsting over you, this person needs to heal. That's what their problem is. They so thirsty. They just ready to just be. With, I don't even feel like you feel a connection with them with the lovers in reverse. 
they need to finish healing. They're not healed from a previous relationship, and that's why they're so thirsty. So it's like they want to be with somebody so bad. Now, if that's not your situation, then some of y'all, you the thirsty one. Some of you, you so thirsty to be in a relationship or be, you know, have your person. You know what I mean? And it's got you out here, you know what I mean? Chasing motherfuckers and, you know what I mean? Needing a glass of water. Some of y'all, you be thirsting for people that's not even, you know what I mean? Your soulmate. People that you know you're not going to be happy with in the end. If that's you and you feel like, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know what, Miss Hawaii? I do be thirsty. You need to heal. There's some more healing that you need to, you know what I mean? Who be liking your photos? What's up with this person liking your photos and shit? Three of Pentacles in reverse. Eight of Cups. Uh-uh. The moon in reverse. Mm. This could be somebody you walked away from. Some of y'all, somebody you walked away from is going to end up liking your photos or they be liking your photos. Maybe that's them trying to get you to come back. Some of y'all be careful of somebody in a relationship already that's liking your photos online. They trying to get you caught up in some messy shit. They might be thinking about walking away from the person that they with, but some of y'all, somebody that's involved already be liking your pictures because maybe they on the verge of walking out on a relationship or something. But don't be messy like that. Wait till you damn leave. Don't I don't want your damn crazy ass girlfriend coming after me. You know what I'm saying? Like people be crazy. I remember I had a time getting rid of this one girl and I swear to God, I did not mess with that dude. He was like, he's like some famous like Harlem rapper. And like, we was just cool. Like I never dated him like that. Like we never had sex or anything like that. And he was like liking my photos and stuff like that. And like leaving comments and stuff. And this chick, oh my God, this chick blew me up for a minute. You hear me? This was a crazy ass woman. And she was very beautiful. I was so surprised that somebody so beautiful was, had such low self-esteem. The way that girl harassed me. Oh my God, I thought I was going to have to go to the police on her because she threatened me and everything. She was sending me pictures of her and him. This is my man. Stay away from him. Blah, blah. I'm like, yo, what? Like, I ain't never did nothing with this dude. Oh, I had a time getting rid of that girl. Oh my gosh, she was nothing but the devil. <laughs> so that reminded me of that. All right, if y'all want a personal reading, make sure you guys email MissHawaiiReadings at gmail.com, all right? It does take one to two weeks to get you the reading, but I do offer expedited readings, which means you'll get the reading within 24 hours or by the next day. You can pay like an expedited fee and you'll, you'll have it, all right, sooner. But other than that, you do have to wait one to two weeks, okay? So hit that email. That'll connect you to my assistant, Pierre. He's incredible. Shout out to him. He will give you all the information that you need to book a reading with me, okay? And make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, on TikTok, Miss Hawaii Tarot. I can't wait to start back going live, going live on TikTok, going live on here again. Can't wait to see you guys. I miss you guys. So let's see. Give me the tea. What's going on? Give me the tea. Give me the tea. Give me the tea. Give me the tea. We're already 18 minutes in, so I'm probably not going to be able to clarify Probably just do that in the extended, okay? Give me the tea. What's going on with y'all? What do y'all need to know? Thank you, angels, again. Thank you to our ancestors, our spirit guides, for being here with us. The three of swords, damn. First card out. You got somebody fucked up. Somebody is in a lot of pain over you. Some of y'all don't know it. Some of you do know it. But there is somebody who is heartbroken over you. Heartbroken. Heartbroken. Somebody's name could be uh, Sheila, Randall, Richard, Levi, Leanne, the Queen of Swords in reverse. Somebody can't stand your ass. I don't know who this is. 
this person, they they cannot wait for the right opportunity to throw your name. You know what I mean? Throw dirt on your name. Throw your name through the mud. You got an enemy here, a serious enemy. And they be talking and gossiping about you nonstop. Could be an Aquarius person, a Libra, or a Gemini. Yes, you sure do. And if you are a masculine energy, you got an ex or somebody you dealt with from your past, a feminine, that be throwing dirt on your name. She could even be, this feminine energy could even be like starting rumors about you online. Mm, don't look at me like that. The temperance, okay? Some of y'all, you need to learn to be more patient and just wait on divine timing. Some of y'all be wanting things to just happen the same day, happen overnight. You got to know that, you know what I mean? Like, you got to wait sometimes. And you got to trust your angels. You got to trust divine timing. You don't know when when's the right time for stuff to come in. Your angels know, though. All right, some of y'all could be Sagittarians. The Knight of Cups in reverse. Who's that? You got some Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio person that's in love with you and be drinking over you and in their feelings over you. I don't know. I just heard, like, listening to, like, romance, sad songs over you. Mm. Five of Wands in reverse. Somebody want to make up after some conflict they had with you. And, I mean, it was some serious conflict. This person could have really stirred up some shit in your life and now they want to make, they want to be friends again or they want to make up. Some of y'all, maybe it's not even a love thing. You got the four wands here. Okay. What else we got? Some of y'all getting a new house. Congratulations, new apartment. Or some of y'all need to start getting into property or some of y'all need to move. Take that shit seriously. Page of swords in reverse. Somebody spying on you. Ain't a surprise. You got a spy. Somebody that be watching you 24-7. Checking out your social media if you have it. Or if you don't have social media, this motherfucker watching your ass in person. Hello? Four swords. Some of y'all need a vacation. On the bottom of the deck is the ace of swords in reverse. I feel like that's talking about that person that I said you need to stop talking to. Some of y'all, there's some trash ass person that you need to stop talking to. Pull the plug on this person. Oh, but you know, I did. And then he hit me up. Well, why are you responding? Stop making excuses. Change your number. Oh, but I had this number for a long time. Well, what do you want me to tell you? you everything I'm saying, you making an excuse. You making an excuse. Sometimes when, when you got to cut somebody out, there's no excuse. Stop talking to them. Block them on everything. Get a new number. Move to Japan. Whatever the hell you got to do. The universe wants you to stop dealing with this person. They want you to cut it off. Stop looking at me like that. Because I'm going to tell you the truth. Mama call him Clay. I'm going to call him Clay. Let's clarify a few of these. Can't clarify all of them because we almost had 30 minutes already. But we're going to clarify a few and then we'll clarify the rest in the extended, all right? See what the hell going on here. Some of y'all with that four wands, somebody in a relationship wants you. They could be living with somebody. Mm. Lord, have mercy on me. Let's see. Let's start with this three of swords here. This person that's in pain over you, heartbroken over you. Who this is? Harpo, who this woman? Who is this person? They feel like you took three swords and stabbed them right through their heart. Three, eight of wands in reverse tried to pop out. Some of y'all, because you blocked them. Let me see. I just heard Earl. Let me see. What's going on? Some of y'all born on the 3rd, the 4th, the 5th is here, the 1st, the 15th, 23rd. What is this three of swords? The fool in reverse. Could be an Aries, the hermit in reverse, and the nine of wands. Mm. You got this person so fucked up. They don't even want to leave the house. They don't want to deal with nobody else. 
This person could be in therapy over you. I don't know who the hell I'm talking to. Clearly, that's not for all of you. But it's something here. Somebody was very, like, psychologically affected by you. This person feel like you put them through it. They don't even want to be in another relationship or they don't want to even date nobody. Like, this person just kind of is like a recluse. Damn. Can I know, can I get one more card on this person? Poor thing. I just heard Henry the Emperor. Could be an Aries and the Ten of Pentacles. The crazy thing is that this person still want to be with you. <laughs> After all of this, they claiming you put them through. It's like they still, if you called them right now, they would still fuck with you. They could be somebody, an emperor. They could be somebody who is like got status, like somebody who, you know what I mean, is doing pretty well in life. Like the emperor is somebody who's a boss. Mm. What's the queen of swords in reverse? Who is this person that can't stand your guts? The queen of swords upright. <laughs> oh, shit. Six of cups in reverse and the knight of cups in reverse. They're jealous of you. That's just what it is. Some of y'all, this somebody you could have you could have stood your ground with. Could be somebody that you used to deal with. Like maybe y'all was cool, but y'all not no more with the six of cups in reverse. Some of y'all, this could even be somebody like that you've known for a long time. Like when y'all was younger, but this person, I feel like you ain't scared of this person. I feel like with you coming up as the queen of swords, whether you male or female, you ready for whatever they, whatever they got. This person don't scare you. Heavy air energy. Can I get one more card on this person? They jealous of you. Point blank period. Eight of swords in reverse and the seven of swords. You see, this person is a liar. They're a liar. They're deceptive. They be telling people lies about you. And for my masculines, this is a feminine energy that I don't know if you cheated on this feminine or that's not for all of you. But I feel like with the eight of swords in reverse, you ain't worried about this person. Their lies can't touch you. They can't touch you. Some of you, you freed yourself when you cut them out. Person, this person just mad because they not in your life no more. And they was jealous of you the whole time. Mm. What is this Knight of Cups in reverse? Because there's somebody here that's like in their feelings over you. The Six of Wands. The Sun in reverse and the Wheel of Fortune. Mm. This somebody that's upset that you getting all this attention. Things are going well for you. You've activated the Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarian energy here. You got positive things coming your way. Could be a Leo. You're getting a lot of public recognition. You're getting attention. Some of you are doing really well in school, doing really well in your career. And you got this water sign tight. I guess this person is not in your life anymore and they feel some type of way. Because all, you know how sometimes some people feel like, yeah, when, when you stop dealing with them, oh, they, they be kind of hoping that your life is going to go down. You know what I mean? Like they be, they're kind of, they sometimes, and it's really bad, but they could be like hoping that, you know, shit don't work out in your favor. And you know what I mean? You go down. Like some people, they want that. So they can say, oh, look at so-and-so look how their life ended up without me. That's the complete opposite for you. Capricorn energy here. They feel like you took your power back. You have no control. Some of you, maybe you have some type of addiction or some type of very unhealthy habit and you've dropped it and this person is mad. I just heard alcoholism. Maybe you were like an alcoholic when you were dealing with them and you're not anymore. It's like this person wanted you to go down. Like, What's the page of swords in reverse? Who is this person that's been spying on you? <coughs> Excuse me. The King of Swords in reverse. Mm. Oh my God, the King of Wands in reverse and the Page of Swords upright. It's more than one person spying on you. And why all these kings in reverse? You got, some of y'all got some bitter ass ex-lovers. 
Some of y'all got some bitter ass ex-lovers that keep tabs on you, don't say nothing, jealous of you, mad, like, some of y'all, everybody from your past, every single person you dealt with in the love department still keeps tabs on you. Mm-hmm. Because you got two kings here in reverse, and it's two of the worst ones. <laughs> the king of swords in reverse and the king of wands in reverse. These are, whether male or female, this one of them is very narcissistic, mean, like to play mind games. And the other one could be a thought, very domineering, stuck up. Uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You got two, at least two ex-lovers watching you. And I'm talking big time. Because the page of swords is in reverse and upright. Let's do one more. Then we're going to go to the extended. Um... What about this person here that want to make up with you for this drama with the five of wands in reverse? They stirred up some shit in your life and now they want to make up. Mm, some of y'all, it was something financially. Three of pentacles in reverse tried to pop out. Tell me more about this person, please. Thank you, angels. Five of wands upright and the page of pentacles. Yeah, they want to talk. They want to talk. Some of y'all, something could have happened financially. They could have got you caught up in some financial shit. But whatever, whatever they got you caught up in, it was, it was some drama. Could have even been an actual physical fight for a very small few of you. But I just see this person reaching out, apologizing, wanting to make amends with you. I don't even know if it's a love-related situation or not. Yeah, the Ace of Swords. They want to talk to you. They want to get some things off their chest. They feel like there's still some things they never really expressed to you. I don't know if you want to, if you want to deal with them again. Cause I feel like whatever they got you caught up in, whatever this drama was, it, it was fucked up. It really was. So let's go into the extended now. Okay. 32 minutes. Wow. And I didn't even clarify all of these. So in the extended, we're going to clarify this temperance here. Four of Wands, Four of Swords, the Ace of Swords in reverse. And then we'll also go ahead and pull some Oracle cards for you to see what is the T for you in the future. What is the T on your love life or general and see what's happening for you in the future. And then we'll pull some Tarot and then we'll get you some advice. All right. So thank you guys for tuning in. Please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, comment, share. All right. And um, thank you for all your love, all your donations, all your kind words, your comments your emails. You guys are the best. And I'm so thankful for my little YouTube family that we have here. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and TikTok, Miss Hawaii Tarot. And like I said, hit that email, Miss Hawaii Readings at gmail.com if you're interested in doing a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, okay? So you guys enjoy the rest of your week. Stay blessed. Stay well. I'm here if you need me. I'm always praying for you. I'm giving you guys a big old virtual hug. And you guys stay blessed and stay, stay happy. Keep a smile on your face. Don't let nobody take your joy. Keep your vibrations high. Burn your sage. Eat your fruits and your vegetables. Drink your water and eat your snacks. And know you are loved, all right? You guys take care. Be blessed. Be well. I'll see you in the extended, guys. If not, I'll see you next time. Bye.